My whole career is based in computer animation. I worked on a lot of visual effects for TV shows like Babylon 5 and Star Trek Voyager way back in the day. Um, in about 2000, I opened a computer animation school called the Dave School at Universal Studios and um, ran that for several years. And about two or three years ago, I left there and opened Monkey Chow Productions. And we primarily provide animation and pre-visualization for uh, theme park development companies, Universal Studios, and we have um, a pet project that we've been working on for a long time called NASA SEALs. NASA SEALs started as a student project back in 2004. Um, we made a live action version and thought that was pretty cool. And then in 2008, we did an animated version. Um, and then we started working on um, a screenplay and made a feature length animated screenplay. We wanted to do something that wasn't really politically motivated. It was um, really the SEALs just have to get in there and destroy these robots. And by disturbing one, they activate all of them, and one thing leads to another, and there's, there's, there's much chaos. Nano X7 technology with a Geiger 840 processor. Wow. Um, my favorite part is directing motion capture because I really like working with actors, and I really like working with camera angles. And the cool thing about motion capture is that once you have the performance in there, you can say, how does it look from here? How does it look from here? And I will literally make play blasts and edit them together moments after they're done, and then decide, oh, I need another shot, and I'll move a camera over here, and I'll get that shot. And I think it's really kind of an exciting way to do things. Not that I don't have any respect for people that do a hand key animation, um, but me personally, I just enjoy this workflow. Captain, over here. For NASA SEALs, uh, myself and another team member walked around and collected sounds, uh, raw sounds, by doing uh, field recording and uh, after that we edited a lot of the project together. My favorite part of the project was probably the score because we started with just the video, no sounds or anything, and the score kind of like pushed it a little, like with the action scenes and everything, the dramatic scenes, it kind of really told what was happening and it really made it come together along with the other sounds. Whoa, that is awesome. My experience as an educator, you know, I know that it's often really good if the students have an opportunity to work on something that um, isn't just a canned assignment that an instructor came up with that has real world challenges, that has um, problems that need to be solved. And um, I heard similar assignments that have been done at First Institute that were really good. And I always thought if I had the right length project, I, I would come knocking for that. And so I wrote to Alan and Donnie and a really great team of ambitious students came in and talked to me about um, what their background is and what they were able to do. I told them what my vision for the project was and really a lot less back and forth than I thought there'd be. They were, made a lot of really good instinctive choices. Um, I care a lot about audio and I care a lot about what we see, but it was right, it was good, it, was, didn't need to be, it didn't need to be changed. I was really happy with the work that was done by the students and I think it, it says a lot about the quality of the program at First Institute. Short burst, aim for the head. He don't get back. My favorite part about the project was that I was able to get into that mindset of seeing what sound was able to be created for this specific project and see what fits and what doesn't. And at the end, um, it was great seeing it all come together and we had a great uh, piece to present to the, to the animation studio. We start off, uh, it's kind of chaotic because you are on a time slot and we need to get things done. Uh, so my favorite part is actually about halfway through the project where things are coming together and uh, there's an end to it and you can strive to get to the end. My favorite part of the project would have to be visiting Jeff's studio. Uh, I just like the environment there. It was it was like peaceful, um, just to like get more of an insight on how a real animation like studio setup is and like the process and everything. I thought that was really cool. I wasn't stunned by the fact that the audio came out so well because I figured it would, which is why I, I contacted First Institute. I was especially interested in the amount of work that the students put into the project. While, you know, there is probably pre-recorded sound effects for just about everything. They did a lot of field recording, they did a lot of Foley work, and I think it was good they had that experience, and I, I think it really made the project better. So here it is, the first clip from NASA SEALs. This is 
is it. The army that would have overthrown democracy in Cuba. Aw, oh, he's a cute little guy. <laughs> I thought they would be bigger. Nano X7 technology with a Geiger 840 processor. Wow, the Jamaicans really do make the best stuff. Kind of a shame we have to sink them. Sink them? They'll just walk to Cuba. We have to destroy every last one of them. The accessories are sold separately. Whoa, that is awesome. Short burst! Aim for the head! You don't get that! Captain! There's gonna be more of them! How many? Uh, uh, very many! Kelly, emergency X bill! On the way! Any remaining charges should stay here! Get him in here now! 